So if you live in the state of California, you probably have PG&E or maybe Southern Edison in some places as your two power companies. In my city, we have something different. We have Alameda Municipal Power. So we have our own power company just for the city of Alameda. So just like you might have in a lot of other cities, a government agency that is a municipal water supply, um, we have in our town a municipal power company, which is really rare. So given that it's a government agency, the government treats it as a government-owned, not-for-profit corporation. So we pay significantly less in power costs than most of the state. So Alameda still gets its power from the statewide power grid, but we get to pick who puts the power on that we take off, meaning that 100% of our power is green. It also means that because we don't have a for-profit agency running our power, we pay significantly less for our power delivery to our city, often half or two-thirds of what people pay in the rest of the state. The fact that we have our own private power company is more of a fluke of history, and some communities that have tried to create them nowadays get a lot of resistance from PG&E. So it's really terrible, but more communities should have municipal power. So while I think every community should have municipal power over PG&E, um, it wasn't sunshine and roses for how our Alameda AMP service got created. There was a facility like this one, this distribution center, where we had eminent domain a black family from their home to build this distribution center over some white-owned families that lived in the neighborhood. Not the best history. <laughs>